You're worth more than the likes you get on the post you share. You're beautiful in your makeup, but be careful. Never let it make up you. Your beauty stands alone. Hidden inside you, it's the kindness in the way that you speak. That kind of beauty makes a grown man weak. Even when you're covered up, even when you're more exposed, your body is not a trophy to win the male gaze. The right one will see your eyes before he sees anything below it. He'll study your heart and your mind before he uncovers the vessel that carries them. And when life gets to be too much, when the burdens start to feel like boulders, the right one, the one sent by God, will find ways to take them off your shoulders. That's how you'll know that he loves you. Not because he told you while your body's pressed skin to skin. Any man that truly loves you wouldn't discover that love in sin. My heart breaks for you. The restless nights, the drenched pillowcases, I know. Your heart wants to believe that man loves you, but your mind has already discovered the truth. So you battle with yourself day after day while the world watches you. If only you knew what God was getting ready to do. Maybe you're scared of being alone, so you settle for the abuse. My heart breaks for you. But if only you knew how God's heart breaks watching what is happening to you. We all want love. This I know is true. Yet so many of us accept a counterfeit version of the love stories we were told. As kids, they said that we'd be saved by Prince Charming. But there's nothing charming about soul ties and feeling like you can't be alone. He was supposed to be sweet, doing everything in his power to sweep you off your feet. Maybe he was in the beginning, but somewhere along the lines he stopped letting you and your heart drop. So you hold on to what was, the good times. Like an alcoholic trying to ignore the sour taste of bitter wine. When your friends ask you, you tell them you're fine. Is it really love if you have to lie? My sister, this is the saddest story ever told. God wants to give you a garden, but you're settling for a rose. And I still pray. I really hope that was able to touch someone. Um, it's Valentine's Day, or Valentine's Day is coming up. Unfortunately for me, and I'm pretty sure for other people, I didn't really have the best Valentine's Days. Um, most of my Valentine's Days were spent feeling like I wasn't enough, um, or upset with whatever guy I was talking to at the time because he didn't do uh, anything special or, you know, it was just, to be real with y'all, I never really liked Valentine's Day much. I wanted to speak to the girls who might be in the same position as I once was. I want to speak to the girls who are stuck in toxic situations. I want to speak to the girls who um, are settling for way less than they deserve and they're questioning if they should leave, how to leave, they can't leave. They feel like they're stuck like glue and maybe your friends laugh at you. Maybe you just feel alone in, in the struggle and I, I just want to remind you that you're not alone. And I wanna share um, a bit of my testimony. I was in a very toxic relationship. I could not leave for the life of me. I mean, he really didn't treat me well, but I just, I accepted the love that I thought I deserved at the time. And I'm sure that a lot of a lot of y'all may be doing the same. And I really just want to encourage y'all today, and God has put it on my heart, to make this video. You do not have to settle for that. And if you're confused, it's not from God. God would never send you a man who constantly makes you question if you're worthy of love, if you're worthy of feeling appreciated, and you're not asking for too much. The right one, truly, the one that, that God sends you, he will find ways to work with whatever you're asking for. He, he would make it his mission to, to make sure that you're happy because that's what love is. The same way that 
you put others before yourself, that's how someone who loves you should treat you. And it's really hard to break soul ties. It's really hard to break away from someone that you've been comfortable with. But sometimes the scariest things in life, taking a step away could look so scary, but I promise you there is better on the other side of that. And you may miss that person when you walk away, but you won't always feel like that. And for me, I was stuck because I never truly loved myself. So I was accepting that counterfeit version of love. And it really took me walking away from that situation and um, allowing God to pour into me and, and show me myself as his daughter, show me how much he loves me, for me to start loving myself and for me to realize my worth. Um, it's a great thing to have the heart that you do to always forgive and allow um, people second chances. But how many second chances are you gonna give at your expense? How many times are you gonna accept mistreatment? And are you gonna have to deal with the broken pieces of your heart because you see the best in someone? I need you to see the best in you. I really need you to see the best in you and realize that you deserve so much more than what you're accepting. And if your Valentine's Day is not filled with someone else showering you with love, I want you to shower yourself with love. I was putting that relationship over God. So I had to repent and turn back to God um, and basically just let him know that I was sorry that I was chasing love, that that he could have given me and that he wanted to give me. Um, most times it's, it's the love that you're searching for in people that you will find in God. So I just wanted to give you all that encouragement before um, Valentine's Day comes or maybe on the day of. Um, I love you guys so much. <laughs> I really do hope that this was able to help someone and um, feel free to reach out to me if you need any help, any encouragement, any prayers, I'm here for you. But let this be the year that you love on yourself. Let this be the year that you take yourself out, you get your nails done, or you do whatever it is that makes you happy and makes you feel loved. Get yourself a good little meal. <laughs> Spend some time with the Lord because he loves you and he will overflow you with love this year but with that um much love again and i'll talk to y'all later